Welcome back to Path to the Peak, where I try to reach Arceus League, but after looking at how the ladder resets, it's going to take me 25 years, just like Ash Ketchum, to ever reach my goal. But uh, we're going to have fun while we try. So this week, I'm going to be playing with the Balloon Blast deck that I probably posted on Saturday. It's with the Drifloon and Gardevoirs. And uh, I did play some ranked games and it seemed to be ke keeping up with like meta decks. So I thought, hey, why not record it on Path to the Peak and give it a shot? Unfortunately, I was not recording a lot of really exciting games. So hopefully I can produce some good ones right now on this recording. So we will be starting out with the Balloon Boy in front. Not usually what we want. We see the Guard, or not the Guard of War. We see the... Uh, Growlithe Sleeve, so is this an Arcanine EX deck? If so, good thing we have Mimikyu in this deck. It is. Get the Curlia. So I guess we'll get a Ralts down first. And we're going to need to one-hit KO these uh, pesky Arcanine because... They get stronger the more you damage them. I think we'll end turn, right? I don't want to attach this energy. I want to discard it. So another thing, like my, I like to put out videos of like rogue decks um but path to the peak is for me to be a little like a little bit more competitive while still being rogue but i was wondering if anyone ever i also would like to have a thing where i like make videos of myself playing my subscribers so if you're at all interested drop your uh ptcgl username and i'll add you as a friend and uh I'll, if we ever like if you ever challenge me or i challenge you and we play a game i'll make sure to record it and we can put that up uh on the channel they do Serena. Now this without damage is doing 250, so it's not going to be knocking out a Gardevoir. Now they do have alternate attackers that Mimikyu cannot block, like uh, Seraledge. Or whatever that one's called. And actually Radiant Charizard as well. But we're mostly a single prize deck, so I'm not too concerned. I'm actually going to go with the Charizard early on with this uh, Magma Basin. They drop the Lumineon V, which I consider to be a target for late game. I'm also going to work her away next turn this uh, Stadium, I think. I was gonna, planning on iono wing using Iono, but um, I don't want them to have their Stadium down, no matter how cool it makes the field look. Having said that, it is, is super important to get our Pokemon down, so Iono might still be the better idea. Two basic fires onto themselves. Oh, I can drop that without even having to use Worker. But I don't want to Iono them now because that's too helpful for them. But first things first, we're going to evolve this Curlia. Um, I don't mind. I'd rather this than that. So I'm going to go ahead and Artisan into probably Ralts. Let me check the board though. How much does this do? 70. Oh my gosh. 70. That's nuts. So uh, go back. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to lose this balloon guy unless we get an energy on or a Pokemon tool on him, which we can because we do have Arvin, and I think that's what we're gonna do, and force them to evolve. But first things first, we'll refine it away this energy. Done. Draw two more, we did get a Curlia. Um, put another Ralts down, probably. Uh, get that one down. Now, I don't really want to evolve this one because it has this attack which could be used later, but I'm going to have to. And we will Arvin 
for first this tool and then secondly well, we're probably gonna iono next turn because they haven't used their research so they're gonna research next turn so we might as well just get a fog crystal i'm thinking or we can get another curlia down I think we actually would prefer to get another Curlia down, so we'll level ball. And we're, this is probably going to be a waste because they're going to evolve the Growlithe, but if they don't, cool. Um, so we'll put the charm on and just say, like, we'll see what happens. And we can Artisan next turn for another Balloon. And they can Artisan for a Growlithe, and that's what they're going to do, probably. Oh, Bidoof. That makes sense, too. And they research, so here comes the Arcanine. They did drop one already, though. Why won't they cram a Matic before? Oh, because they didn't have an item. Armor Rouge. Now, what is this? It moves energies, but how does it do it again? From bench to active. Okay. That's not really a thing right now, but might be with the Charizard later. And here's an Ultra Ball for the Arcanine. Now, the only thing is they're going to have to discard a lot of energies to take out this Drifloon. Which they might not be concerned about. I don't know. Seem to be making a tough choice with what to discard, though. Growlithe and a Fire Energy. How many do they have in the discard? There's the Arcanine. Only one. I super hope... There it is. I super hope they attack me with Raging Claws. Because it's an odd number too, so that can actually make me do even more damage. But they'll probably just knock me out. And they only have one card in hand. So I kind of don't want to Iono. Yeah, so they're going to discard those two fire energies. I'm actually going to use Worker and get rid of this thing anyway. So. Now we need five and we only have one energy down. So I don't feel great about our ability to attack this next turn. But we have to put a Ralts up. How pad, that's not cutting it. Okay, we'll evolve this Curlia first and go ahead and work her away that thing. We do have a Glade, that's not doing it either right now because we don't need that. We need different cards. Drop an Iono, not drawing any energies, that's for sure. Uh. Refinement. We'll get rid of research. And not, we'll still just not see any energies, okay? Or any ways to get a Gardevoir. Um, Mimikyu. And another Curlia. Drop this one. And I don't think we're taking any bench damage, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this uh, Manaphy. There you go. And there's an energy finally, but that's not really like doing anything. We can't retreat. We'll drop the Mimikyu. Pokemon down, that. What is my phone vibrating for? I don't know, we'll check it later. Um. Is this the only one we can evolve? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that. I kind of wish we didn't evolve this because we could have stopped its next attack, sort of. I mean, they'd stop that ability. Um, we 
we're gonna go ahead and buddy catch because we can for an Iono. Maybe that'll trick them into thinking they don't have to do something. I don't really know. And we will rescue carrier balloon man. Put him on the bench. And I think we're gonna have to end our turn there. Does this only move it to fire Pokemon? Nope, any Pokemon. We already use Arvin. I think we did. We did, yeah. So I'll pal pad and get an Arvin if I need. Cram gets a Tails. Thank you. So are they stuck? Sort of. Sort of is the answer. They're sort of stuck. I kind of hope they knock out this Curlia because we'll put Drifloon in front and hopefully get the Oko with the Arvin. We just need the energies in the discard. That's the problem. We've only got one. That's crazy. What are the chances? We need five. Okay. I feel like the Mimikyu is the safe bet. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, we're going to Fog Crystal and Energy. Um, we're actually going to Pal Pad an Iono and a... Uh, Arvin. Actually, I don't think we need the Iono. We have so many in hand. I think we're going to do Worker just in case they get Magma Basin down. Mm, we'll Gallade the Arvin. And we'll use it to get this and this, right? No, we actually want to get um, this. Done. And we'll go ahead and refinement away one of these energies. And okay, we got this. This could be useful, so I'm gonna drop it. And now we have two energies down. We've already used refinement. So we're gonna go ahead and Pokemon. I actually wanna get more Curlias and stuff down. Fortunately, we're gonna have to use this. So I like to usually use them on the balloons, but it's fine. And we'll do that and drop an Iono and an Energy for Gardevoir EX. And Psychic Embrace. Kind of doing this the backwards way. We got the Mimikyu's for a reason. We only have three energies available. We'll put one on the Drifloon. And we're gonna go ahead and Ghost Eye. Now they gotta have a heck of a draw to get out of this. So we'll see what they have. No draw support. And if we can get rid of this Bidoof um, next turn, right? Maybe we should have done it this turn, actually. That's what we should have done. No, because we already used a supporter. So yeah, next turn we'll boss away this Bidoof because that's their only draw support potential right now. Unless they move the energy, we'll just see, we'll just see. We can knock it out with the Drifloon if we get the right cards. Ooh, they pass. Okay. We'll 
evolve Curlia. I think we got an Arvin back. Or we used the Arvin. We didn't use the worker. I don't really want to use the worker without this, but how many of these stadiums did they put down? Two. They could have a third. I don't mind dropping it with an artisan though, so we might want to just draw three cards. So that's what we'll do. We'll buddy catch for that. At least just to have it. I think we're actually going to boss the Bidoof. Ghost Eye for seven. Take one prize. Please be an energy. It's a Drifloon. Yeah, they're stuck a Rooney right now. We need to really take advantage of this. This only has 210 HP left. If they get an energy, they can attack this Mimikyu. But I have another Mimikyu that can knock this one out. Um, 210 HP left. So that will be eight damage counters because eight times three is 240 for the Drifloon I'm referring to. So that's just three energies now. Now it looks like they're still stuck a Rooney. Maybe they have an Ultra Ball or something. I'm thinking about it. They can only attack this as a Growlithe. The moment they evolve it, it won't be able to attack a Mimikyu. Ooh, they pass. Ooh, and I got the energy. Okay. Go ahead and refinement away this energy. Two more. Now if I take two, that. And then what's left? We got one energy down. Two energy down, that would be 66 times three is 20. That's not enough. Um, I'm not super afraid of this Charizard right now. So I think I'm gonna attach an energy to this. And I'm not gonna boss anything. I'm just gonna take my free my free thing right there. And maybe next turn I'll go for the Charizard. Right now it needs three energies to attack. Oh man. But, ah, oh, there it is. It can't attack next turn. And TV, not worried about that super bad right now. There's Bit Barrel, excuse me, Bidoof. Okay, this is fine. They can have the Charizard attacks. Do we have enough energies to rock yet? Where is that? Three. I think we do. So I think we're going to go double balloon. Double balloon. Double bot. Fuck. Do we have. Sorry for cursing. Uh, did we not? We have not used the pal pad. We did. I don't remember if I have two or three bosses, though. Um. I think we should go Mimikyu. again and make him work for it uh drop the guardy once we refinement done okay got the guardy party got the balloon man got the bravery charm Hmm. 
I'm gonna actually use Gardevoir instead. And take out this Charizard. Attach manually. Use this Psychic Embrace. One. Two. I don't know why I did two. That was stupid. Done. Retreat. I just thought it had two retreat cost. Put this one out. What does this do again? That might have actually been the better attack, but I kind of like having the supporters. And we'll attack for 150. And take one prize. Now they can knock me out with Entei. So they need an energy or a way to get an energy or a way to draw cards. And they put the Entei out because they can draw a card with him, so. Let's see what they get. They've got to have an energy in hand, I have to imagine. Hmm, they have the barrel. I will be Ionoing them though, and then knocking it out with my balloon man. But they still have the barrel, so that doesn't actually help. I could Iono the barrel, or I could I. Oh no, but I can't boss two supporters in a turn. Okay, so. Hmm. There's Magma Basin. Yeah, so they're going to be able to attack. I will be knocking out this Entei, though, and removing Magma Basin. Research. Ooh, they got rid of Path. I'm definitely going to keep Artisan on my hand, then, if they run Path. That was probably it, but still. They can do 250. And this is doing 90 plus 10, 30 plus 90. So still can't knock out the EX for my EX for the two prizes. So I think the balloons are my way out. I mean, yeah, because Sarah Ledge can still attack. Is that Sarah Ledge? Char Cadet. No, what is it? Armor Rouge, excuse me. So I'm going to use Worker instead of Iona. Now they're going to keep two of their energies anyway because of the uh, EXP shares. But I'm not really concerned about their attackers. Cram. What would they want to cram for? Boss maybe? Double boss game situation? In that case, I'm still not getting knocked out, but in that case, I definitely want to get all my energies in order first. They use Armor Rouge's ability to move it to that to get a knockout. I'm pretty sure they used a supporter this turn. I wish there was a little marker for that. Maybe they didn't. 
Okay, so they're doing 200. Not a problem, dude. I'm going to balloon blast this guy away. 280. That's still not going to do enough. So they got two prizes left. And I've got six energies. And put this guy down. And this. Six energies. Okay, first things first. Worker. Please go away. Second thing second. Guardi, just in case, does 190 to this Arcanine. And then I need 240. So I need three more energies onto this Drifloon. One. Thirty times sixty is one eighty. Thirty times eighty is two forty. And then we'll put them elsewhere. And then I think I'm actually gonna stop now because I don't think that we need to do that now. So that's two forty. Cool. Um, I'm going to go late to just see what's in my deck. Not really much else we need. Shuffle that up. Take the two prizes. And I didn't attach those energies just in case I get bossed and they try to like get me stuck. I can at least guard of war out of whatever is like stuck. This is a super long game. Here comes the Arcanine. Maybe they can get more damage onto this thing to knock out the Gardevoir, but... No, because even at max, it's doing 30 plus 270, so that's 330. Unless there's something I'm not factoring in here. Arvin, what could Arvin do? Well, definitely not going to get boss now. Not going to lie, my heart is beating super hard right now. I hope I don't have a heart attack. A switch. I don't think a switch is going to do anything. Mm, they got the Magma Basin anyway. They're running five stadiums? <laughs> yeah, they're running five stadiums. That's crazy. What does this do again? Searching for evolution Pokemon. Five stadiums. I don't know if I've seen that in a while. Or ever. That's game. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was there for them. Especially when they started acting weird at the end. Oh, all right. That's game one of this stream. I'm going to try to play for like an hour. I feel like I started about 30 minutes ago because that game took a super long time. That was well worth the 20 points. Um, I don't know if any other game is going to go as well as that, but holy crap, that was exhilarating. Um, 
Fingers crossed no Lost Box. I think this deck has a really bad matchup against Lost Box. I hate playing Lost Box in general when I'm recording games because I just feel like it's not fun to watch and I run out of things to talk about while my opponent plays Solitaire. Inky Demon is our opponent. Uh, yes, we'll go first. And we will drink water. We're starting with the Ralts. Not that great, but... <clears throat> what are you going to do? Chien Pao Sleeves? Is it a Chien Pao deck? Uh, if it is, I hope it's the kind that doesn't run Wailord, because at least our Mimikyu can deal with the Chien Pao-ness. Now the problem is, like, are we going to have to... Are, we're probably going to need the Mimikyu, or not the Mimikyu, the Mana Fee. We're definitely going to need the Mimikyu. We'll probably need the Mana Fee for the Radiant Greninja, but it's not going to be able to attack next turn, so we're going to save the level ball for that. Um, how many Mimikyu's do I have? Just one, so I'm gonna have to grab that one now. Spec board. Okay. Done. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and retreat this guy. Get that into the discard. And put that there. I feel like this deck could run rare candies, it kinda just ran out of space. Candice. That's not great. Only two though, and it's Palkias. And I'm not worried about Palkias because of Mimikyu's. Of course they have the workaround with boss and stuff, but it's it's whatever. But no Baxcalibur, no Frigibax, I like to see that. Not yet anyway. That's a good news for us. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and level ball into a Curlia. Try to crack my neck and fail, but at least we didn't kill ourselves. Um, I probably shouldn't say that on YouTube. Uh, I don't like getting rid of this Gardevoir, but I think I'm going to do it to move a little bit faster. Sweet. Okay. So, um, oh, we got the curly right here. So we'll do a couple mother, couple mother, um, couple more fog crystals and get some more psychic energies into the discard all right draw two got the level ball we'll level ball into do we want the balloon man yet i feel like it's still too early we'll get another well we don't need we need another Ralts. Um, I have a feeling one of these Curlias is going to get knocked out. So we'll get a Ralts. And then we'll refinement another energy. Yeah, sorry opponent, I'm taking forever, I know. Get a Drifloon. Put him down. Put this down. And in the meantime, I think we'll attach. Like, how many are in here? I feel like we got a good amount. Four? Yeah, that's fine. And end turn. And if they have a big hand next turn, which they surely will. Oh, you know what? We should have put the Manaphy down because they're going to have... Uh, well, they don't have energies in the discard yet. They might use this guy palkia v star and then greninja so i definitely should have gotten the mana feet down if they get the greninja oh no they don't have the greninja yet i'm gonna iono them next turn anyway okay they use candace so they're not going to v star or they're not going to uh boss me rather okay we're in a good spot um I think I'm going to Iono first. Because I don't want to discard any of these cards. So 
So that's good news. We could actually take out this Chan Pao this turn if we wanted. I'm putting the Manaphy down stat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and refinement away this. Actually, I don't want to use the Artisan, so we'll do that. And we'll get another Curlia. And I don't want to slow burn this. I feel like we should use the Drift Loon and get the attack now. Well, we could slow... Uh. Okay, well, first things first, I'm evolving Glade. And could use... I think I'm cool with this. I'm actually going to use this ability. Refinement. Another one. Another one. We're going to get this freaking Gardevoir. Refinement. Well, we didn't get it the way we wanted to get it, but um, because we have Glade, we can Iona whenever we want, so I don't think I need this research. And we'll get Guardi EX. And the only one in deck, one is prize, so that's good to note. And we'll keep the Curlia down because this other Gardevoir is gone. We'll retreat. Drifloon. And Psychic Embrace for four energies. One. Two. Three and four. And now we got the Gallade to search for the bosses. Done. And we'll actually search for one of the bosses right now just to scare them into Ionoing me, maybe. Because we're probably going to have to use Arvin to get um, Drift Loons. And we'll do 240 for the knockout. Now they're probably going to use the V-Star power to be able to attack this Drifloon. Um, although they could just Chan Pao attack. That's cool too. Level Ball. Okay, cool. We don't even need the Arvin. Unless we get Ionoed. We might even get Ionoed into a, a Drifloon anyway. Yeah. How many are in the discard? Three. And they're stuck because they didn't get their uh, Backscalibur set. So they, I mean, it's Palkia or Bust right now. Actually, it's not. Again, they can just champ out with one energy. But I think I'm going to be taking two prizes every turn regardless. They do offer the Chien Pao. They can get four energies on max because they don't have the Backscalibur. So four, that would be doing 240. So they still can't take out the Gardevoir. I think because the Chan Pao has a higher ceiling, that's actually the Pokemon I want to go after first. But this is actually like kind of the perfect board with the uh, Manaphy for the protection, Mimikyu just in case, and then three Ralts lines. Uh, if only we had the Shining Arcana, but I'm happy with just a Corellia. Like, we'll still draw cards, so it's not a big deal. What? Okay, they gotta just be scooping. Like, you don't just let a turn like that go. I'm, I'm a Psycho, so I'm gonna actually boss this Palkia up and do 300. So I'm more afraid of that. I'll probably scoop and probably think I'm being a jerk by doing this, but I'm really just covering my bases. Get blasted, bro. 300.
Got another Balloon Boy ready. Got the Bravery Charm in hand. They might Iona, but I'm okay with that. Let's see what time it is. A few more games in me, probably. All right. Well, they're letting me get all the prizes. That's very nice of them. A lot of people just scoop and then you don't get all the rewards, which is another dumb system of PTCGL, but what are you gonna do? It's so funny how like, it hasn't even been that long and I've already started to kind of forget what PTCGO looks like. I'm like getting gaslit into like accepting PTCGL's uh, shortcomings or whatever. I mean, I hope they'll get better over time, but at least I'm not getting bugs while I'm like recording and stuff. Ooh, this guy's got 600 points. He's gonna be way better than I am. I'm only at 380. Fingers crossed, no lost box. If it's lost box, I'm inclined to scoop just so I can keep the entertainment going. But um, if I do that and people are against it, just let me know. I just don't think it's worthwhile for the time and for like, I'm gonna lose anyway, might as well just scoop. But I don't even know if that's necessarily true. I guess I can keep up with the lost box. Do you wanna go first? Sure. Hmm, not a great start. Boom. All right, it's Lost Box. I think for the sake of the stream, I'm just gonna scoop this. I just, I don't feel like, again, I just, I mean, one, I think I'm probably gonna lose, but two, like, I don't, I honestly don't feel like subjecting people to watching people play Solitaire against me. Um. Usually when I'm like, I mean, I'm kind of just doing this in one full uh, recording, but when I'm like we're trying to record like quote unquote good games for my to show off my decks, I usually don't show off Lost Box matchups just because I find them boring and I feel like other people might find them boring. And like I even see in my data, like when I play Lost Box deck is like my retention goes down, like people just don't want to watch it. But I mean, if you feel a certain way, let me know in the comments. I just... I feel a certain way and the data shows me that it feels a certain way. So then I act a certain way, but you know, if you got something to say, let me know. That's cool. It sucks to lose the progress, but it is what it is. Yeah, we got another one. Well, that's 20 points down the drain. I mean, I guess the point of a stream is to like, see things live, but also I only have like limited time in my life <laughs> to record these things and I'm not wasting it on a Lost Box. If I wanna see Lost Box, I'll go to my local game shop and play in a real tournament. Hope everyone's having a great day. Just remember, uh, always have fun. <clears throat> darkness sleeves, is it a darkness deck? Um, protect Ralts at all costs, put Drifloon in front, even if you have, if you have to. 
darkness my weakness but weakness doesn't matter because I'm a little baby balloon and I get blown up anyway double level ball that's nice to see hello darkness my old friend Starting with the fish, not ideal. Is this is a dark ride deck. It is. They do get the Greninja down, but they're not going to be attacking with it, so the mana fee is not much of a concern. This guy does not have resistance to Psychic, I don't think, in his V-Star form. So that's cool. Squawk. Hmm. No, I was thinking this deck could use a Squawk, but uh, I like my bench space. Ooh, they dropped the Clara and a V-Star, so that's uh, something to note. They could have a Pal Pad. <laughs> Yawn off the mic. Long day. Ralts. Level ball. Ralts. Level ball. Mimikyu. I hate using level balls on not Curlias, but I uh, need to get. I mean, I'm going to be discarding these all with uh, research anyway, so. Hui. That's rough. That is rough. Hopefully we can buy some time with this Mimikyu. And we'll go ahead and Fog Crystal for another Mimikyu just in case they have an escape rope. And I mean, they've limited themselves to this, so they're not gonna be attacking with any one prizers anytime soon, thankfully. Boss's orders is an issue, but it's fine. Oh, they also have cross switchers. That's something to pay attention to. But if we can get these balloon boys set up quickly before these Ralts get knocked out, I'm going to keep the fog crystal in hand just in case. There's the boss. There's one Ralts. I'll fog crystal for another. I do have rescue stretchers, so it's not a big deal. The Mimikyu's up. Gardevoir EX, not what we need right now. Get a Ralts. Done. We could use the other Ralts to negate an attack, but right now we're going to try to do damage with Mimikyu. And end turn. Can't imagine they run a ton of bosses orders if they're running the cross switchers, but we'll see. Ultra Ball. Get another V-Star. They do have the Galarian Moltres V. Now, I do have to imagine they have the uh, one Prizer one as well. Research. Don't... Okay. Because if they get two Cross Switchers down, that's a Cross Switcher they can use. Man, they're just churning. These wheels keep on turning. That's a song, right? I hate to be like the annoying guy with the Mimikyu's, but like this is literally what I have to do until I can freaking evolve something. Rescue carriers. I don't need that right now. Oh, there was a Ralts in there. Sorry, guy. I'm just going to be doing this. Slow burn. Hopefully it's fast enough. But double cross switch. I mean, it's all one prizers, so I don't know. They might deck out first. They're going to cross switch and whatnot, but like, it's fine. Honestly, I can deck them out if they, like, I won't put another Pokemon down if they uh, cross switch me. And I'll just make them deck out. Hmm. 
You think you're being funny, but I'm actually not going to knock that out if you're asking me to do that. I'll do 70 damage, but I'm not going to knock it out. Right. I don't know why you did that. I guess to... Eh, I mean boss, whatever. It's fine, dude. I don't mind. It's fine. I'll stick with the one Ralts. Um, all Iono. It's fine. I, I honestly feel like the way to go is to make them, uh, deck out. Well, I cannot, all right, I can't search my deck, so whatever, but like, where are the Curlias? Ghost Eye. That is nuts, dude. That's freaking nuts. How many have they used? Three? And they got cross switchers? That's crazy. I'm not, I'm, I'm just gonna let you deck out, dude. Because I'm too far in the prize race to try and mount a comeback. And I don't want to give you that bench space. And now I don't have a... Of course I draw the query the moment the last routes goes down. We're doing it this way. We're doing it live. Here comes the fourth boss, or a cross switcher of some sort. Now, I understand I'm being annoying. This is literally the only way I can win. I know I'm being annoying to them. Hopefully they don't try and waste time against me if they realize, like, that there is no hope. But, I mean, if they have another stadium and remove this stadium, they'll have the bench spot. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Well, I'm not going to work with them. We'll just use ghost time. The power of Mimikyu can destroy the entire point of your deck. You think you have a Gardevoir Drifloon deck. Turns out you have a Mimikyu deck. I looked away for a second. I have no idea what they put in. It's probably boss. Yeah, that's fine. This is a problem I was having with, uh, I was recording like, I think by the time I released this, the video will be released. It was like a um, slacking V deck and I had spear tombs and Mimikyu's in it. And uh, people would just concede the moment they saw the slacking. I'm actually gonna just do it to this guy. Just make you waste cards. Um, yeah, people don't feel like putting up with like the Mimikyu and they're just like scoop, but then I can't record a good video. So at least this guy's letting me torture him. It was their fault for collapse state aiming. I feel like they run that Galarian Moltres. 
not this one, but the single prizer. Um, of course, it's only doing damage based on how many prizes I took anyway, so I haven't taken any. So even then, it's like not going to do what it needs to do to take out this Mimikyu, it'll only do 20 damage. Now, I just don't know if they run that card. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to like take out these Dark Rise and Squawk Abilities and then not be able to uh, win. Ghost Eye. They're gonna switch. Seems like they don't want me to take out the Squawk. Oh, I guess they just want to take out the Drifloon. We'll put out this Mimikyu. And we'll attach an energy. And end turn. trying to think what other one prizers would they run in this deck it really has to be the galarian moltres that's what i ran in it hmm i wonder how many ionos they have too that'll buy some time but i'm still ahead in the clock too i don't know why i'm looking at it like this two ionos clara okay I did grab that Galarian Moltres. They need the stadium to get rid of. That's the big thing though. They don't have the bench space and I'm not gonna give it to them because I have no idea what's hiding in this hand. I'll attach the energy and end my turn. Now, if they can remove this uh, stadium and put out something to attack, I commend them, but I don't think. I just have to imagine this Dark Ride deck is not running only these. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm a jerk. I know. I'm going to put out, like, what do you want me to do? That's what that means. If I was playing with them in person, I'd be like, I can explain myself, but now I'm just like, not being a good dude. I understand. I understand. I'm a bad guy. It's part of the strategy. It's not being a jerk. Canceling Cologne? That would be crazy. Okay, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Because if you have the Ultra Ball, you're going to look for that Galarian Moltres and you can at least show it off. Okay, another Clap Stadium. That makes me feel like that's your only stadium. I'm going to end my turn. I swear to God, they have this Galarian Moltres that can attach energies. I'm not giving them that space. I don't know why they don't scoop though, that's a thing. I think they probably want to waste my time too. But um, these are the, uh, this is the downside of doing it live sometimes. Like I don't want to give up the 20 points because I'm going to win. All things staying pat, no pun intended. Okay, so the concealed cards, all worker and all attack if they end their turn. Uh, 
All right, friends. I'm sorry to succumb you, succumb to you. Whatever that last game that was not ideal, but I had to do what I had to do. Those first two games were pretty exciting, though. And of course, there's that other video of me playing with this deck. If you want to check it out, more more action packed version of this. But um, thank you for watching another episode of Path to the Peak, and I'll see you guys later. I gotta go walk my dog. <laughs>